Hello, and welcome back to another video of Calc Nerd. Today's video is going to be on the classic game of memory, where you're given, in this case, a 4x4 grid of random tiles, which are all assigned to a random number, and you navigate around the screen using the arrow keys, and you try to figure out uh, which two are the match and get the lowest score that you can. With that said, um, I know it's been a while since I've uploaded a video, and I apologize about that. Things have been getting uh, pretty busy, uh, but I'll try to upload as frequently as I can. And second of all, we just hit 200 subscribers, so thank you to everyone who has subscribed to the channel. It really helps me out a lot and lets me know that you're enjoying the content. So without further ado, let's show you memory. Now I'm going to go in and run program match. Okay. And I did call it match instead of memory just to save a couple of bytes uh, in the long run, but you can call it whatever you'd like. So right away, you can start moving around. Uh, as you can see, the brackets are wherever you are selecting, um, and the question marks are the different numbers that are hidden underneath. So for example, I like to pick one of the top corners, so I'll go pick this corner up here. And it is an 8, and now I can guess wherever I think the other 8 is. And that's a 1. And then I just keep selecting. Oh, and that happened to be a match. Uh, so that one was a 6, and that one was a 6. That one was just a really lucky guess right there. Um, so when you do get a match, X's go over it. And you want to be careful because you can uh, still select on the X's. Uh, so like if I select this one and then the X. Uh, it will go back to a question mark, so just be careful when you're doing that. There's no penalty for a uh, time limit or anything like that. Uh, you just want to have the lowest score possible, so you want to make sure you're also accurate. And I think I saw a three somewhere over here. Um, not up there, apparently. So that is the game of match. I'll just finish this game out, and then I'll show you uh, how you can program this on your own calculator. Okay, now let me show you what program match looks like. So we're gonna start off with Delver matrix A and four comma four storing the dimensions of matrix A. So we're just initializing the matrix here and then also initializing L1, Delver L1, 16 storing the dimensions of L1. For A comma one comma 16, A storing to L1 at wherever A is. So if A is seven, uh, seven, is going to be the seventh thing in L1. If A is greater than eight, A minus eight store into L1 at A. And what I'm doing there is just making a copy of every digit between one and 16. So it's going to go one to eight. And as soon as it hits nine, nine minus eight is going to be one. So it's just gonna start that process over again. And so if you wanted to, you could do that twice and then you could have, you have to match three, uh, which would obviously be a lot harder. And 1 stored to A, ran 16 stored to L2, sort A, L2, comma L1. That is a really easy way to make a random list, uh, randomize a list. I found that on TIA Basic Developer, and I've used it in a few videos. It's a really simple way to just randomize that list very efficiently. 0 stored to X, and clear home. For A, comma 1, comma 4, for Y, comma 1, comma 4, X plus 1 stored to X. L1 at X store into matrix A at A comma Y and end. There's two ends there. For A comma 1 comma 4, for B comma 1 comma 4, I'll put it 2A minus 1 comma 4B minus 1 comma quote the question mark. Uh, to find the question mark, it is actually uh, one that you can use just by clicking alpha right here and then the like negative symbol because it's not. Uh, you use that like when you're typing in variables and you can't put a minus before, otherwise it'll give you a syntax error. Uh, it is that button. Then we have an end, two ends there to end the two for loops. Then I'll put an eight comma one comma quote score and a colon. One store into Y, one store into X, zero store into S, and negative one store into A. I'll put an eight comma eight comma S. Repeat until k is equal to 45 or k is equal to the clear key. That's what uh, 45 is. Get key store into k. I'll put it 8 comma 8 comma quote. I have five spaces here, but you really could probably manage with just two. Uh, what that is, is the bottom here where the score is. 
because I subtract one, if you get a match, what happens is it outputs 10 and then it subtracts one and then it has the nine and it doesn't need to get rid of that zero. It just leaves it there and it looks like your score is now 90. So I just have that to get rid of that and fix that error there. I'll put it eight comma eight comma S. If sum of K is equal to, make sure you get that fancy bracket there. The fancy bracket is second and then the same exact parentheses. Uh, 24 comma 25 comma 26 comma 34 and 105 then i'll put it 2y minus 1 comma 4x minus 2 comma quote a space and i believe it's just one space yep just one space there i'll put it 2y minus 1 comma 4x comma quote a space max 1 comma min 4 comma x plus k is equal to 26 minus k is equal to 24 store into x max 1 comma min 4 comma y plus k is equal to 34 minus k is equal to 25 store into y i'll put a 2y minus 1 comma 4x minus 2 comma quote the bracket right there which can be found by clicking second and the multiplication key and the one that we'll use in just a second is just the minus key right below that multiplication key uh, i'll put a 2y minus 1 comma 4x minus or sorry just 4x uh, and then that bracket right there if k is equal to 105 then so if the enter key is pressed by the player, then we're going to a plus one minus two multiplied by the fact that a is equal to one, store into a. Uh, make sure you get both of those parentheses in there. Uh, those are very important. If a is equal to zero, then matrix a at y comma x, store into m. I'll put it two y minus one comma four x minus one comma matrix a at y comma x. So we're outputting that number because you get two shots, you don't just guess one and then guess another one, you guess one and see if they match. Um, so that's why I'm doing the whole A is equal to zero and then A is equal to one will be uh, right down here. So then we have Y store into B and X store into C and S plus one store into S, which is your score right there. And if A is equal to one, if you are on your second move is what this is saying and there's two conditions you could either have it right or you could have it wrong so then i set up the if it's right condition so if your current position in matrix a so matrix a at y comma x is equal to whatever you guessed last time because m was stored right here um, from your previous position so that's just an easy way to know what their previous position was is just do it like that and know what the number was there. Then S minus one store into S. So you get a bonus point technically um, if you get it right. I'll put it two Y minus one comma four X minus one comma quote the X. I'll put it two B minus one comma four C minus one comma quote an X. And that is also your previous position. B and C is your previous position in the matrix. Else, so if it's not equal to M, then we're going to do, I'll put it 2y minus one comma 4x minus one comma matrix A at y comma x for k comma one comma 200. And what this is right here is it allows the screen to just kind of pause for a second. Um, you could use a pause there if you would like, um, but then the player has to click the enter key. So I just like this because it just gives a nice aesthetical look and the player doesn't have to click the enter key again. If you would like to make it a longer pause, you just make this second number here uh, a greater number. So if I wanted to make it longer, I could make it 250 or 500. Um, just know that the longer you make it, the longer the player will have to wait. So I guess you could also make it shorter if you'd like to make the game a little bit harder. I'll put a 2y minus 1 comma 4x minus 1 comma quote the uh, question mark right there. I'll put it 2b minus 1, comma 4c minus 1, another question mark. End, 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 and end. So there's five ends there. And that is the end of the program. So I hope you enjoyed today's program. Again, I'm sorry that I haven't made a video in a while. Uh, that is my bad. I will try to upload as frequently as I can. I'll make a ton more of little games like this because I have been working on a couple larger projects. So with that said, Again, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope you consider subscribing. It lets me know that you enjoy my content. And as always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.